to handle the growing number of refugees arriving in Germany has caused a deep rift in the ruling coalition. And in the last hour, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has been addressing members of her party on the crisis. Nina Schick is a policy analyst at the EU policy think tank Open Europe, and she joins me now. Nina, very warm welcome to the programme. What did Merkel say today? Has she departed from her usual message, which up until now has pretty much been, we can cope? Well, that has been very much her message, but if you look beyond what she's actually been saying, her position has significantly hardened, because what we've seen as this crisis has escalated is the rift in Merkel's own governing um, party, the CDU and the CSU. The CSU is Merkel's sister party in Bavaria, and of course this is where they're struggling to deal with the influx of refugees and asylum seekers coming in. And this war of words between Merkel and the Bavarian Premier, Horst Seehofer, has been escalating to the extent where he said he's going to pull his ministers out of the cabinet. He's going to challenge Merkel at the German constitutional. So actually over the weekend and over the past few weeks we've seen Merkel's position significantly harding, including passing tough new asylum laws which a year ago would have been unforeseeable. So despite her rhetoric, her position has very much hardened to appease the right wing of her own coalition party. Do you think she will have managed to, I mean you can never appease everybody in politics, but will she have gone far enough in the short term at the moment, do you think? Well in the short term she's bought herself time, so she had crisis summit this weekend with the power partners in Bavaria and also the leader of her coalition partner on the center left and she has managed to since then she's basically agreed to sign up to a lot of the things that the Bavarian premier was calling for so she will have had the heat off in the short term however in the long term it's simply unsustainable if 10,000 people are arriving in Germany every day. So Merkel will then now have to look towards other measures to make sure that those people arriving are significantly decreased. And that includes working with transit countries, particularly Turkey, to make sure that the numbers actually subside. And they've agreed to certain things in the paper, haven't they? Transit zones um, and I think something else, which I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But what are these elements going to buy her? What do the transit zones mean? So essentially the transit zones